Hello, thank you for inviting me. Um, my name is Radwan Monham. Uh, I represent the uh, state of Qatar. I work for the Ministry of Education and Higher Education in Qatar. I have been working there for the last 12 years, uh, holding several positions and uh, doing various roles. Recently, I have moved to more consultative uh, advisory role at uh, the technical office and working in conjunction with them uh, with the e-learning uh, department and with the planning uh, planning department and policies uh, and innovation as well. My role is to bring in as much expertise to projects, to deliverable, to the quality of education generally speaking and introduce uh, transformative technology as, as much as they can within our processes to make them easily uh, accessible by the public. Certainly the, the EdTech Fellowship Program has uh, inspired me actually uh, in many ways. Uh, first of all, it is uh, a program which allowed me to uh, check on my own knowledge and on my own ways of doing things. Uh, it helped me revise a few uh, techniques I used to do and gave me, of course, better alternatives. Uh, these alternatives are applicable in the, the field I do, in the ed tech and others. It's about uh, a small journey which will lead to uh, doing my job in the future in a in better way. Introducing some tools and frameworks, uh, some extra analysis uh, methodologies and of course uh, enlightening us with, with, with new ways of thinking. That is what I was inspired with this uh, workshop. Of course, doing it in Cambridge University in itself gave me the inspiration and aspiration to uh, uh, use as much possible of the knowledge I get from the university and from the uh, professors and doctors that have been uh, a pillar of this uh, fellowship. Indeed, indeed it was. First of all, the, the choice and, uh, of the team and the synergy that was created is impressive. Uh, these are my colleagues working in neighboring countries. Uh, they have uh, great experience. They have a lot of lessons learned to, to be shared. Uh, definitely we found common ground with, with our neighboring countries in uh, virtual education, uh, in uh, uh, enlarging and enhancing access to education through various programs. And I found my colleagues in, in, in GC countries doing similar, similar uh, initiatives. So we shared experiences, we shared uh, our aspiration and we shared, uh, what I call it, um, uh, the, the, the thought process in how actually to enable both countries to achieve the better outcomes from this. So there will be, as an outcome of this workshop, there will be uh, a lot of uh, uh, synergies uh, outside the, 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 this, uh, this workshop and uh, there will be further communication and further uh, work groups that will be established to uh, keep the momentum, keep the momentum in terms of uh, deploying our knowledge that we, we acquired here into uh, our projects. Uh, some part of the workshop, of course, uh, um, gave me more confidence that what I was doing was correct. Uh, some part of it gave me insights in how to do my work even better by giving me some frameworks, tools, some philosophy, some uh, questioning my own understanding of the pedagogical beliefs, the type of leadership I should actually uh, I should, I should uh, acquire uh, and uh, to, to make sure that uh, such or such initiatives will work out properly. Yes, adaptive leadership has been one of them. Uh, also, uh, the future studies 
the scenario planning for strategy that have been something of uh, interesting to me because um, it, it opened more uh, room for studies, okay? And then the, uh, the framing, framing of our ideas into these tools and framework uh, uh, for stakeholder analysis, uh, for uh, benefits, challenges, uh, challenges and gains, many things uh, taught us to be more disciplined in the way we think and the way we present our thoughts to uh, our stakeholders. That is something uh, I found it very interesting, is they taught us how to uh, summarize our thoughts into a one-page presentation. That's some of a skill, it's an important skill, and something that we will adopt as part of our jobs. I'm an avid fan of technology and advanced technology. Of course, I have been studying uh, transformational technologies uh, since a long time, actually, and I have uh, uh, of course, did further studies in my master's on the role, as an example, for, of artificial intelligence in the uh, decision-making process and strategy formulation. I have worked with the new innovative uh, generative AI. I worked with many tools that, uh, uh, that uh, helped me uh, put a, a roadmap, put a roadmap of how to use this and embed them in the technology into, into the educational processes. Uh, I found that, of course, as they are transformative technologies, further analysis must be made, uh, further consultation with the uh, uh, learners and with the educators and with the various authorities within the Ministry of Education is necessary. Uh, further studies and proof of concepts and pilots have to be made to ensure that uh, there is a, a harmony between the pedagogical beliefs that we have and the implementation outcomes. But as a summary, I firmly believe that this technology will add value to the education processes and education outcomes if taken seriously if taken seriously, because they have uh, impact uh, and tangible impact, measurable impact on future education.